So, look for love everywhere, it is endemic. November 29, 2015, by John Smallman. The illusory world, the world in which you experience life as humans, does appear to be undergoing an upsurge in violence, suffering, and conflict. Your mainstream media are taking full advantage of these events to encourage you to engage with an increasing sense of fear. Doing so just drags you deeper into the nightmare, that is the illusion. Focus, therefore, on the now moment, this actual moment in which all your needs in this moment are met. Doing that brings you inwards to your holy inner space, where the light of God's love for you burns inextinguishably. Then you will feel the warmth of the confirmation that you are eternally held lovingly in the divine embrace. Feeling that your energy fields expand and love flows through you, out into the world, where it is so sorely needed to help bring people to their inevitable awakening. You all chose to incarnate as humans at this point in your evolutionary journey because you knew that your services were needed, and because you could envision how effective your service as humans would be. You are all extremely effective in every moment in which you intend to share and extend love to those in need and suffering, whether they be the flood of migrants camping out in harsh weather conditions on the borders of European countries, or those suffering oppression and persecution in their home countries, or those experiencing intense poverty in your own localities. What is presently occurring is making it very difficult for anyone to ignore or be unaware of the desperate need of so many impoverished ones across the planet. And you know there is no need for this state of affairs. The problems of poverty can be solved, but the main political focus worldwide tends in fact to be very localized, what need I do to be re-elected? And is of course fear-based. Fear is a severe drain on your energy fields, and feeds those who would control or oppress you. Focus on love, knowing as you do, that love is real and that anything not in alignment with it is. When you do this you strengthen and empower yourselves, and you drop the fearful ego masks that you have been presenting to the world, replacing them with the vision of the loving being that you truly are, and eternally remain. Your appearance then changes to align with your loving intent, the stress and ageliness of your faces become far less prominent, and others then see an utterly non-threatening being, whose loving energy field interacts with their own, creating a space of peace and trust between you. As you have so often been told you are eternal spiritual beings having a temporary physical experience. It is your inevitable and unavoidable destiny to awaken into reality, into the presence of God, into heaven, because there is absolutely nowhere else. You have never left that holy and wondrous state, you have just shut down your memories of it to enable you to engage with the illusion and the sense of separation it provides. It is your collective will that maintains it. But you have recently changed your collective will, and as a result the illusion is disintegrating in preparation for your awakening. What appears to be happening, in what most see as the real world, are the activities of the executives and minions of those who have for so long enslaved and oppressed humanity, as they desperately seek to retain their grasp on power. By bringing about events and instances of violence and conflict that are apparently moving the world towards division, and even anarchy. They are attempting to arouse intense fear so that people will seek a return to the status quo, to the apparent stability they remember of previous times, by supporting wholeheartedly the system that has caused all these problems in the first place. Do not be misled by the false promises of those whose concerns are not and never have been in the best interests of humanity, for if you allow that to happen you will be very disappointed indeed. Taking sides, supporting one side, nation, religion political party against another has never worked, it is divisive and always leads to further conflict. Many of your sporting activities encourage this most enthusiastically, and many of you have come to believe that it is the normal way to engage with one another. Competition is thought to lead to improvements and advances in most of your fields of human endeavor, but the cost in terms of human suffering is enormous. And the truth of that is demonstrated wherever you choose to focus your attention. Once more I am encouraging to you focus on being loving in every moment, regardless of the situations in which you find yourselves. It has been clearly shown throughout the eons of the illusion that conflict never resolves issues, it only escalates the troubles and establishes a larger area of conflict, as people feel obliged to take sides and make disingenuous judgments to support their opinions for doing so. Love does not enlist support against, 
instead it offers space in which harmonious cooperation can peacefully resolve issues to the benefit of all involved. With love there are no losers. First, forgive yourselves for whatever you feel is unworthy of you in thought, word, or deed. Having done that, then accept yourselves as you are with unconditional love. When you cease your own internal wars and make peace with yourselves you can then offer forgiveness to others. And because of the personal changes you have made within yourselves by making this intent and holding to it, others will see you differently and will respond differently to you. You can only change yourself, as you all know, but all across the world people are changing themselves, and in doing so opening their hearts to love. Look for love everywhere, it is endemic, so expect to find it by offering nothing else. Initially you will be surprised by what you find, then you will come to expect it as you naturally share it. Your nature is and always has been love, and now many are realizing this and removing the inner cloaks or veils that have kept it hidden. This is the time of humanity's awakening, it is an awakening into love, so be your true and natural selves, be loving. That is all that is asked of you, and you have the ability and the desire to do it perfectly. With so very much love, Saul.